You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile. Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles, and I'm here with CGH number three. And today we are going to do a braided flower tie back. Now, one of the things I love most about this hairstyle is that you can do it on straight hair, curly hair, wet hair, dry hair, anything you can kind of think of, and it looks great. So we've started by parting our hair down the middle. And I've already just done a very simple basic braid on this left side and we're gonna go ahead and do that on the right side to match. So we will just section off a little piece right here. I left a little bit of hair above her ears just to give it a little more of a boho feel, a little bit less structured um, because it's summertime. You know, that just feels really summery to me. And we're, again, like I said, we're just really doing a very simple basic braid all the way down the hair, or at least the large majority of the way down the hair. Now you want it long enough to reach back behind her head and be secured with the other elastic in the middle. So as long as you get that much length, you're good. So Special K had to have two teeth pulled this week to make room for some of her other permanent teeth that are coming in kind of scatty wampus right now. So show them your new exclusive smile. <laughs> full of holes today. Okay, so you want it to go back at least to the middle of the head, which this certainly is. And then you can elastic it if you need to, or you can just hold it with your fingers and bring the second braid around and make sure they kind of meet in the middle and figure out where you want them to sit. Like I want it to sit down pretty tight to the bottom of her head. And then you're gonna use another elastic and secure them together. Now, I would definitely use a matching elastic right here for this part, or at the very least, clear. Then you're gonna remove the first elastic and undo any excess braid. Now, I'm gonna take it and tuck it because I want it to sit really right there on her head. And I'm gonna just tug so it tightens that down. You can see it just gives it a little bit of extra volume. I'm gonna take the end of my comb, just stick it in there, and just pull up a little bit. This just adds a little bit of volume back here, adds to the boho summery feel, keeps it from looking too just blah against the head. I think that looks good from here at least. And yeah, it looks good. Okay, now for the rest of the braid, make sure we got that nice and secure. We're gonna put all the ends together and do another regular three strand braid down the remaining hair. And when we get to the end, before we secure it with the elastic, I'm gonna go back and pancake one side. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna just tug the ends out of one side. So again, you're just grabbing the very edge of the braid, giving it a little tug. Only do one side, pick. You can pick the left or the right, but don't do both. Then go ahead and secure it with an elastic, again at the bottom. Again, one that matches the hair or is clear. And there we go. Okay, once you've pancaked all the way down to the very end, I've pancaked on the left, so I'm gonna start curling to the right. So I'm gonna take it and wrap it up and around our elastic, because we wanna try to hide that as much as possible. And then we're gonna continue to wrap and we're just going to lay the braid underneath itself around and around and let those little edges that we've pancaked pop out and form the shape of a flower. And then when you're down to the end of the hair, take a bobby pin and you're just gonna go underneath and catch just the very edges like just the very, very edges of the flower. So we wanna make sure those bobby pins stay hidden. And we're gonna go, I'm gonna go in and do one more on this side and just really just catch the very edges. So we don't want those to show. And then you can go back and adjust if you need to. And what you end up with is this adorable little boho 
clove flower. I think it's such a fun look for the summertime. I love it. And ta Let's do the whole spin. Are you ready? Woo! And the flower and around. So many of you guys know that I went to San Francisco recently and filmed the Monsters University <laughs> press junket for Fandango. Yeah, that was great. We loved the movie. We loved, We saw it in Florida together and it was so fantastic. So make sure you go see it. If you want to read about my experience and see some of the clips of my interviews with the stars, you can click up here and check it out. We hope you guys have enjoyed this video and we will see you next week. Bye! All right, so here's the deal, everyone. Tomorrow's a pretty special day, isn't it, buddy? Mm -hmm. What is it? Mommy's birthday. Is it mommy's birthday, huh? Did you make something for her? Um, a necklace. A necklace, isn't that really cute? I think she's gonna love it, don't you? Mm -hmm. So we thought, what a better opportunity we could do than give our fans a chance to wish Mindy a happy birthday. You can leave a video response below, and you just click in the comment box, then click leave a video response, and then upload your birthday wishes for Mindy. I'll go through and approve them so that she'll see them all. And should that way give her a chance to see you and hear from you directly instead of just reading comments. If you're below 18, make sure you have your parents' permission. But I think that's a wonderful birthday gift for mom, don't you? Yeah? Can you say thanks to everybody? Thanks. Thank you. Bye.